Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series number 72, Voyager Class Starscream. So, for his packaging here, got a nice render of Starscream, Bumblebee Movie, Studio Series Starscream, Studio Series More Starscream, 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 Bumblebee Movie Starscream. It's Starscream. Yeah, so moving along here, so... We have this uh, really nice looking Tetra Jet mode. A lot of people were hating on it, but I really like it. Uh, so, yeah, I genuinely really like it. So, unfortunately, I don't think you can plug any of the Siege Blast effects into these thrusters here. But, for some details, you got a, a nice glossy blue finish here on the uh, nose cone-ish. Uh, on the Tetra Jet. You got translucent orange right there. You got some gray paint. You got a white stripe going along the fin of the top of the jet. We got the thrusters picked out in some glossy black paint. You got the Decepticon insignia right there. Picked out in purple. All around, really nice looking figure. So, for the transformation... Oh wait, actually, I forgot one more thing. Sorry, bumped my light. I forgot about the backdrop. So here is the backdrop. And it looks really good. It looks just like what happened on a Cybertron here. And yeah, this looks really good. But for his transformation, what you're going to want to start off with is removing this gun on the bottom. Remove the null rays if you want. It's optional. Take the arms, fold them out, flip this up if if it didn't already do it. Flip this little panel in. Split the legs right here. Flip out the foot. Flip this in. Flip this up. Collapse this in. And that all collapses in right there, just like that. So, same on the other side. Flip that in, flip that up, fold that. All right, flip out the foot, collapse it all in, just like that. Okay, now, for the arms, Split the, hold up, actually, for the wings, flip them up, rotate them up, oops, rotate them around, flip down this, and it can hinge up like that, I prefer it like that, yeah. Rotate that around, collapse that in, flip that up, okay. This all folds up, clips in, folds up, clips in, rotate the arms around, fold them forward, flip out the hand. Okay, so take all of this, wait, okay, yeah, open this up, close that. Do that. This all just collapses in, and then this goes over that. And I believe we're done. Yes, we are done. So here we have the Transformers 2 series number 72 Starscream in his robot mode. And yeah, and it looks really good for the most part. It looks just like what he did in the movie, I think so at least. You know, he's only in there for like three seconds, so whatever. But, anyways, for his null rays, what I prefer to do, so, when you first get them out of the box, the null rays are on this 5mm port right there. What I like to do is have them on this tab right here, this little, there's a little tab right here, goes into here, just like that. Same on the other side. Come on. There we go. Now, 
that is how I prefer to have it. But for the sake of the review, I'm going to have it the official way and have it plugged into these 5mm ports. Alright, so, alright, one more step. Flip these out. There we go. Now, he's complete. So, his accessory here is the, I don't even know at this rate. It's a similar gun that came with Blitzwing, but it's not the same. And I'll show that in a second because I actually have Blitzwing right next to me. So, that just plugs into his hand. I don't really like the way that looks, though. Am I the only one who doesn't really like that? Alright, so, comparison between Blitzwing's gun and Starscream's... Come on, come on, give me that... Oh, there we go. Alright, so here is Blitzwing's gun. And obviously you can see I have my custom paint job on it. Here is Starscream's gun. It's bigger, it's a bigger gun, yeah. Similar mold, but it's different. Anyways, speaking of Blitzwing, here he is compared with Blitzwing, and uh, a lot of people were expecting uh, Starscream to be a retool of the Blitzwing right here, but that is not the case. They went with a completely new mold on that, which I really, I really dig that. It's pretty cool. It is with my custom Earthrise Starscream. And they look so much alike, just not entirely alike. They basically took G1 Starscream and up updated him to fit a live action aesthetic, and I really dig that. Now here he is with Core Class Starscream, and obviously B-movie Starscream is going to be a whole lot bigger. <laughs> obviously, uh, for his articulation... His arm can do a full 360. Actually, I'm going to do the head first. So, head can move up that far. Can do a full 360. And yeah. So, full 360 at the arm. His arm can move out. Bicep swivel. Bend at the elbow. No wrist swivel. No ab crunch or waist swivel. Like, yeah. Yeah, no ab crunch or waist swivel. There is a... He can kick this far, bicep swivel, uh, bend at the knee, about this far, and ankle pivot that far. So, posability is okay. You know, I've seen better. For the wings, though, they can hinge out like that. And there is a little ratcheted hinge right here, and another hinge right here. So, yeah. That was my review off of the Transformers Day Series number 72, Bumblebee Movie, Voyager Class, Starscream. If you want to see more reviews like this, uh, I'll be willing to do a few more. Uh, so, yeah, next review is going to be B127, which I already have. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.